hello beautiful people how are you doing today i hope you're all doing good so today i would like to try out the famous hot chocolate bombs which are viral on tiktok so let's try that in a few in the kitchen so here i have marshmallows and then this is macadamia nuts i've already chopped them and then i have skittles then this is white chocolate and uh, this is dark chocolate then here's where i'm going to put the mold and then put them in the fridge these are extra then chopping board and a knife so let's start right away so let's start with melting the chocolate so So this is where I'll put the hot milk and this is the camper news. I forgot to mention the scissors. So the scissors, I'm going to use them to make the marshmallows a bit smooth because they're a bit large. So I'll be cutting them to smaller size so that it's easy to put them into the mold once I've done. So now I'm going to melt the chocolate. Let's get to that right now so let me take the dark chocolate to the microwave and uh, let it melt so i'll be putting it in here I think two minutes is enough so these are the chocolate white chocolate I would like to melt it using water I want to show you two different ways you can use so let me boil the hot water first
water is fully boiled so now we will put it in this basin that's just the right amount I'll take the white chocolate and uh, put it here to melt so this method takes a very long time to finish up so as you wait let me get back to putting molds on this one so three of them are going to be dark chocolate and three of them are going to be white chocolate so let's do that now using eggs tray to make the molds was a total disaster So as I wait for the white chocolate to melt, I'm going to be cutting the marshmallows into small, smaller size, into smaller pieces. So let's continue. So this is what I've done so far. I've put them aside on this side so that I can be able to now work on the smaller ones. So I've separated the two. <laughs> the white chocolate looks like now let's try and mix it it's not fully melted so I'll have to put it through another round for it to melt more uh, I'll be putting it back to the hot water for it to melt so what I had first is already cold so I've boiled more water so I'm going to switch it off because it's already boiling. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to use the desk. Okay. So then I'll take this water and put it in the basin again. Just let the gas burn. Oops. Much messed. And I'll take my white chocolate again and toss it in here and let it melt more let's check on the white chocolate it's now melting So the white chocolate is now melted, fully melted, I've already put it a bit so that it can melt faster. So now I'm going to apply it on, it on this side here and then put it in the fridge. So let me do that right away. When getting out the molds from the eggs tray, they broke a lot and it was not possible to use the molds so i had to invent another way of making molds here's a short clip of how it went down so i've spent hours trying to remove this but it's not coming out clearly this is not a good option so what i'll be using is the three tomatoes and a cling film so I'll be wrapping up the cling film on the tomato and then I dip it in here so let me do that right away 
For X-ray, I only managed to get one safely out. The rest broke as I tried to remove them from the X-ray. Now let's go back to the basics of covering the tree tomato with the cling film and then dipping it into the chocolate, melted chocolate. After dipping the tree tomato covered with cling film into the melted chocolate, I will now place it on the X-ray and put the X-ray in the fridge for the melted chocolate to dry up. Once the melted chocolate in the fridge had dried up, I removed it from the fridge and covered it up with another layer of melted chocolate and put it back to the fridge. This helped to make the mold strong. It's time to heat the pan so that I can use it to melt the molds into two equal parts that can be put together. Now let's melt that chocolate awesomeness in form of a mold to fit well together on both sides.
put in the Christmas goodness in form of drinking chocolate, marshmallows, macadamia nuts, and skittles into the yummy chocolate mold. Now it's time to cover yumminess up. Now I'm covering up any holes that might have been left out in between the two molds that have the goodness inside. The white chocolate is for garnishing the hot bomb chocolate. Now let's decorate the dark chocolate with the white chocolate. Time to pour in the milk. Kitos.
so it's been a long day full of struggle to make the perfect chocolate bomb but i finally made it so that's it for today guys see you soon on another video bye bye